Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to discuss another new fermentation process that is glutamic acid fermentation process. Amino acids are the building blocks of life, play important role in nutrition and health maintenance. There are about 20 different amino acids that we have in nature that they form different types of protein molecules. Now let me tell you a little bit introduction to this glutamic acid. It is considered as 2-amino pantanidoic acid or 2-amino glutaric acid. It contains an alpha amino group, a alpha carboxylic group and a side chain carboxylic group. It is classifying as polar negative charge aliphatic amino acid. It is non-essential in humans that means the body can synthesize it. Now, if we look at the history, the glutamic acid was first discovered and identified in the year 1866 by German chemist Karl Heinrich Rithonsen. In 1908, a Japanese researcher that is Akeda of Tokyo Imperial University found that the material enhancing the taste of seaweed soup came from a sodium salt of glutamic acid that is monosodium glutamate. Since then, monosodium glutamate has been widely used in both the food industry and by general public as a flavoring enhancing agent. The demand of glutamic acid has increased rapidly. Before 1956, glutamic acid was mainly prepared by the hydrolysis of protein, pro plant protein that is gluten from wheat. In 1956, Japanese investigator reported the possibility of producing glutamic acid by Microbi microbiological means using microorganisms and began on an industrial scale the production of this amino acid. The responsible microorganisms There are many uh, microorganisms employed for the glutamic acid production Conibacterium glutamicum, Conibacterium herculis, Conibacterium lilium, Brevibacterium divaricatum Bacillus megatarium, Bacillus flavum, Arthrobacter globiformis, Microbacterium species. All these organisms have certain morphological and physiological character comparable to Conibacterium glutamicum. Properties of a useful industrial microbes include it can it should tolerate high concentration of biotin and lysozyme sensitive mutant and yield high concentration of glutamic acid biochemically glutamic acid producing bacteria have a high activity of glutamate dehydrogenase whereas low activity of alpha keto glutarate dehydrogenase they also require biotin biotin concentration in the fermentation media has a significant influence on the yield of glutamic acid moving on to fermentation Glutamic acid commercial production by microbial fermentation provides 90% of the world total demand and remaining 10% is met through chemical method. The manufacturing process of glutamic acid by fermentation uh, uh, steps are followed. Fermentation is first, then crude isolation, then purification process is carried out. There are three types of fermentation used, batch fermentation, fed batch fermentation and continuous fermentation. The influencing factor and the requirement for the glutamic acid productions are carbon source, the refined, uh, the refined carbon source such as glucose, sucrose, fructose or maltose or unrefined carbon source such as glucose, uh, sugar beet molasses, sh sugar cane molasses are used. In the country like Japan acetate, an inexpensive substrate is utilized and the other substrate like alkane, ethanol and methanol are also are less frequently used nitrogen source the concentration of ammonia is very crucial for the conversion of carbon to glutamic acid in the beginning of fermentation ammonium salt uh, a low concentration of ammonia are added um, ammonium salt with low concentration of ammonia are added during the course ammonia in uh, ammonia in the form of aqueous solution is continuously added into the fermenter sometimes urea, urea is also used as a nitrogen source because a glutamic acid producing bacteria process the urease enzyme that can split urea and release ammonia 
Growth factors include biotin is an important growth factor and its concentration in the medium. Medium is influenced by the carbon source. For example, a supply of 5 microgram of biotin per liter medium is recommended if the carbon source is of about 10%. Oxygen supply should be adequately and continuously maintained. Moving on to composition. Carbon source glucose 12%, nitrogen source ammonium acetate 0.5%, pH 7.8 value, temperature 38 degrees Celsius, duration 2 to 4 days at the end of the fermentation. Uh, sorry, yield 100 grams per liter of the medium. The recovery in a product recovery process the bacterial cells are separated and the broth is passed through a basic anion exchange resin elution is performed with naoh to directly form monosodium glutamate msg may be crystallized directly followed by further conditioning steps like decolorization and and serving to yield a food grade quality of monosodium glutamate Applications It is used in the treatment of epilepsy, mental retardation, ulcer, muscular dystrophy, etc. Monosodium glutamate is a salt of glutamic acid which is extensively used in powder or crystal form to increase the flavor in food such as meat, vegetable, sauce, etc. And it is also used as a flavor enhancer in the soft drinks and wines. It is used in the treatment of hair loss and prevents aging. It is supplied as a food additive uh, in the agriculture. As uh, it is supplied as a food additive for the animal feed. And uh, in recent times, uh, some amino acids have been used as important intermediate precursor for the production of biofuels and antibiotics. Thank you so much. Please subscribe my channel.